Have you ever had a customer order just a single item from your online store, something like a pen or a phone case, which costs more for you to process and ship than the profit that you make from it? This is quite a frustrating situation, which can really eat into your bottom line as a merchant. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to put an end to these tiny unprofitable orders. You'll learn how to implement minimum order quantities across your entire WooCommerce store with the power to set advanced rules by category, product, or even variation. That will take us just four minutes. And then in the second half of this video, I'll share with you my strategies for when and how you should be applying these limits across your site. Okay, you ready? Let's get cracking. If you're new here, we're Barn2 and we make professional plugins for people who want quality results out of the box with no coding required. For today's tutorial, I'll be using our very own WooCommerce Quantity Manager plugin to set up the order limits. First off, you'll need to get a copy of the plugin from our website. The link is below and it comes with a 30 day money back guarantee as well. Next, use the upload plugin option to install and activate it on your WordPress site. Add your license key in the setup wizard, then skip the next steps as we'll handle everything on the settings page. Now go to WooCommerce settings, click on products and quantity manager to find all of the global settings in one place. So here we can set the order quantity rules or order value rules for our entire store. These would be global settings that apply to everything. And later we can configure individual categories, products, and variations. So here I can set a global quantity. Let's just say five items, for example. And if I wanted, I could also set a maximum. Perhaps 25 is okay. Again, you can set a minimum value, which would also apply in addition to the order quantity. So if I set a value of $10 and a maximum of 1000, then all purchases would need to be made with a minimum of five items and a $10 value. The global default quantity and quantity step values are not really relevant for our video, but they do allow you to encourage customers to buy items in bulk if you want to. So if I set the default quantity to two, then every item in my shop will have a minimum of two next to the add to cart button on the shop page. And quantity step values simply mean that if a customer uses the up or down arrows, then that will increase by two at a time, or I could change it to something like six. So people can only buy a half dozen items at a time. This dropdown changes how the step value is calculated. Again, it's not super important for our purposes. And user roles allows you to apply these settings to certain user roles. For example, you could apply this for your wholesale customers only or any other roles that you set up. But now I want to erase all of these settings here and just focus on the order quantity rules. So we need a minimum of five items and a minimum order value of $10. Let's save those changes. Now, when I visit an individual product page, I can add an item to my basket. Let's start with one. And when I view the basket, you can see this notice says that your cart must contain between five and 25 products before you can complete your order. So let's make it five and update the basket. Perfect, and now we can check out. Let's go back and change this setting so there's no more quantity rules, but rather a minimum value. And let's make it $20. Save those changes. Now let's reduce this down to one item and update the basket. And you can see this notice says your cart total must be between 20 and $1,000 before you can complete your order. So let's increase that and it's working. Now these are the global settings, but if you wanna change settings of a particular category, all you need to do is go to products, categories, then choose a category that you want to modify. For example, clothing and scroll down to the bottom and you can set the same quantity rules down here just as before, but instead of applying to all items, it's only gonna to apply to your clothing category. Then click update and that'll be updated for you. Or you can visit an individual product, again, scroll down and click on inventory. And again, you can see these are the options that are given to you by the plugin. And furthermore, if you have a variable product, you can go down to variations and on the variation level, you also have the option to change the quantity and value rules. This is also set up by the plugin. So you have all the same options as before, but again, it'll only apply to this variation, 
which will override any global settings or category or even product settings that you've set up beforehand. As you can see, this gives you fine-tuned control over what gets purchased in your WooCommerce store. But just knowing how to change these settings isn't enough. You need to know when and why you should be applying these limits. Here are some factors that you should really consider before applying these minimums so you create the best outcome for both you and your customers. First, consider your minimum profitability. In other words, how much would you need to earn in order to cover the costs of shipping? For example, if you offered free shipping. Next, look at your customer perception. You might need to ask your loyal customers as their feedback will be critical in determining at what level the benefits outweigh the downsides. Next, ensure that you're researching within your market. If your competitors are offering a lower threshold, then you might be pushing your customers over to them instead of encouraging them to buy from you. You should also understand the demand for your product and how many units you need to sell in a given period in order to make a profit. I recommend using a simple system of trial and error to adjust these rules as you go along. Analyze your sales data, your cart abandonment rates, and your customer feedback to see what kind of adjustments you need to make. Remember that setting these limits is more about you as the store owner ensuring profitability. It's not necessarily meant to benefit your customers directly, but what if you could turn it around into a win-win for both sides? Here are some examples of what I mean. You could offer tiered discounts. By offering bulk discounts based on the cart value, customers can get a better price when they spend more. This has the benefit of enticing customers to spend more and they can save extra as they do so. Or you could try bundling. By creating product bundles that are priced just above the minimum order price, this encourages users to opt for bundles, ensuring profitability and moving inventory faster. There are also loyalty programs you could set up where customers accumulate points based on the price of their order. Set a threshold where they can redeem those points, encouraging them to meet the minimum order value. This encourages higher spending, builds loyalty, and sweetens the deal for customers. But I'll be honest, order limits are not always the best solution. Sometimes you just need a way to calculate the best price for each customer, even for custom orders. Watch this video here to learn how to add pricing formulas to WooCommerce, or go here to check out the Quantity Manager plugin for yourself. And of course, thanks for watching.